Cancer is a devastating disease that compromises quality of life of many of people in our community. Now the good news is that we have a lot of great treatments available to us. The bad news is that those treatments also cause a range of different side effects. Now we know that exercise is a very effective medicine to help manage those side effects. Unfortunately, there are no exercise services that are routinely available for people to access after a diagnosis of cancer. So this is where ExMed Cancer comes in. This is really the first evidence-based, best practice exercise service that's available for clinicians and cancer care health professionals to refer their patients to, and for patients to actually access and be able to generate benefits from exercise medicine. My understanding of cancer was very, very limited, um, but I certainly didn't think that you would go from zero cancer to stage four metastatic cancer as a 32-year-old female with a brand new baby. I did a lot of research myself really before I met with my oncologist and my medical team and found a lot of existing research to say that exercise was the way to go and could lead to better outcomes in terms of my cancer. So when I got the nod from my oncologist that I could exercise then I really jumped into it and I found that it's had a really great impact. One of the main ways of how exercise I think enhances um, the treatment is by the way of it enhances the person's own immune system. Early studies have suggested that exercise can modulate the behaviour of the cancer to the treatment. And again, we're just scratching the surface, we're just learning about these things. As a cancer nurse, having seen firsthand the benefits that exercise can bring people during their treatment and of course afterwards when they're looking to recovery, it's quite marked. The reality is when we talk to people and help people to become involved in exercise is that they quickly feel the benefits, not just emotionally, but from a physical energy point of view. It has an impact on their experience of symptoms like nausea and fatigue. And when you're traveling back and forth to hospital frequently for your treatment, it's really important that you have that energy and that positive well-being. I honestly think that the rollout of eczema cancer on a national scale and even on a global scale can change lives. I started with a non-operable life-ending cancer and that's changed radically now for me. I don't know what part of my treatment has changed it, but exercise has been part of my treatment. It's undoubtable that if the effects of exercise could be encapsulated in a pill, it would be prescribed to every person with cancer worldwide. And even if that pill had just a fraction of the positive health benefits that regular exercise provides, it would be viewed as a breakthrough in the fight against cancer.